it was really an inspiring deliberations discussions exchange of ideas knowledge sharing forum cross fertilization of ideas took place in these two days sessions what a wonderful talk from all our delegates and speakers i am really amazed at all your great job done in this field of menstrual health hygiene and management i sincerely thank the dean of this college dr badma madam for having supported us in this organizing the summit in this august ka campus i sincerely thank sri suresh maria selvam sir who is my friend for the last 10 years for connecting with us right kind of people right kind of a place to hold this summit here why we should all work for menstrual hygiene management menstrual hygiene management is a new topic in fact when gramalaya was searching the word in the internet we couldn't able to find many iec information education and communication on menstrual hygiene management there were few universities and international organizations were working in the menstrual hygiene management issues but when i was searching through their website browsing through their all their resource materials i couldn't able to find the word except mhm but there is no words or any strategical idea of how to implement a project how to identify a place what are the problems associated with women what are the health issues of the women i could not able to get the single page on any of the universities websites international organizations who are all telling that they are all working for menstrual hygiene management in fact we made a six months rapid assessment survey in the rural areas and as well as in the urban areas in the tribal belt where women are living in poverty where women are not accessible to menstrual products where uh, uh, most of the people who are illiterate uh, they couldn't able to even get ideas on what is mhm a group of people including geetha myself preeti and many of our other ilango and all went to villages we conducted a lot of focus group discussions among the women in the rural areas and those women were telling that sir this is the first time we we heard about people are talking about menstrual hygiene we never heard about what is menstrual hygiene we know that mother will like in tamil that's all mother would it is happening every month it is going with a lot of problems in our health and hygiene issues so we felt that uh, you are the only people and this is the first time not even the government not even the other people not even the politicians are speaking about these issues you are speaking these information all related uh, health issues Uh, very freely like our mothers they are telling so in fact one of our uh, board member used to talk about damodaran is uh, looking ahead uh, on menstrual hygiene management issues as a fourth thinker when we conducted hygiene education sessions in the school among adolescent girls on menstrual hygiene management they are all looking amazingly the information the hygiene and knowledge we are sharing among the school going student it is a very new subject for them then what we have done we have worked in the rural areas we have engaged a lot of team of field workers health educators from gramalaya to make a um, resource materials on menstrual hygiene management within one year of our research and we have we could able to bring a lot of iec materials information and education and communication materials otherwise called information communication technology materials uh, and published it and disseminated through the school colleges universities and among ngos then we have field tested the idea in two districts in tamil nadu one is the tiruchirappalli district in tamil nadu the other district is pudukote district uh, in which is the most backward district in tamil nadu where we have implemented a comprehensive menstrual hygiene management program for the last 3 years and we have educated the women and in the rural areas the lactating mothers then the adolescent girls in the schools then 
in even the boys in the schools about menstrual hygiene management. So what has happened? All over India, I can say that Pudukote district is a role model district in Tamil Nadu, also at the national level, which is the best practices model in menstrual hygiene management in a comprehensive manner, where we have taught about menstrual hygiene education among the adolescent girls, women in the rural areas, among the self-help groups, among the village poverty er uh, er eradication centers, among the panchayat presidents, among the PRI representatives, on all along the, with the teachers, we have conducted a more than 20 number of teachers training program on MHM. And in fact, a health educator from Gramala is termed like he is from a medical college. She's, she has not even con uh, completed her plus two, but we have trained her as a rural health educator and she taught about menstrual hygiene, all issues of menstrual hygiene, even technically, also medically. So when they, when she uh, teach about menstrual hygiene, the school headmasters, school headmistress, the college principals, all came to ask her why, how you learned all this information. We are really uh, thankful for it. It is like you not even a doctor, medical doctor. Medical doctor should not be uh, angry with me. Not even a medical doctor uh, c c gave such a kind of worth of information about menstrual hygiene. So in Pudukote district, we have devised different ta models. We have built toilet facilities for the villages. We have covered 100% toilet covered village where we have stopped open defecation. In Pudukote district, more than 25 villages were announced as 100% toilet covered village, open defecation free village, 100% menstruating women are using the cloth pads, reusable cloth pads. <laughs> ATK Nagar in Pudukote, a rural area, is uh, India's first 100% toilet covered village, also 100% cloth pad using women and uh, adolescent girls under the menstruation stage. So, based on that model, in the urban areas, in Trichy, in the municipal areas near Musiri, we have announced several wards as 100% cloth bed using women and uh, uh, areas. In, in even Andhra Pradesh, near Karnul, Jokulamba, Gadwal district, very remote areas where there are no roads to reach those villages. We have covered more than 15 villages with 100% toilet coverage, bathroom attached. Also, those women there are using the reusable cloth beds you can visit, madam those who are coming from Andhra Pradesh and Telangana near Hyderabad. So what I am trying to say that the toilet we built is a small toilet which can accommodate all kind of morning ablutions. You can brush your teeth, you can, you can use the toilet, you can take bath, you can change your menstrual cloth pad or menstrual sanitary napkins. You can sometimes, you can even uh, dispose it in the manual incinerator in the, inside the toilet. It's a zero waste toilet we have promoted. I could happily say that the toilet built by Gramalaya is the, one of the best models in the country. Please visit Gramalaya's project sites in Tamil Nadu in South India. And Bindubusanji is representing also the government. They should visit Gramalaya's model. You can see even 25 years ago, the toilets built by Gramalaya still are under usage and maintenance. Three generations are using from parent, child, child got marriage after attaining 25 years, then they gave a birth to another child, parent, the grandchildren, they are using the toilets. So such a kind of sustainable models we have uh, initiated in the rural, urban, coastal and tribal belts. And there are testimonies, there are villages, and you can talk to the, our project uh, villages, beneficiaries, even Panchayat presidents or government or at the collectorate, collectorate level, district collectors, where they can talk about Gramalaya's sustainable sanitation program. More than 35 years I worked for sanitation. The first toilet I built in, was in 1985 in Kupam village near Andhra Pradesh, Karnataka, and Tamil Nadu border. All three languages merges where the Ravida University is planned those days. I just started my work in 1985. Till today, I am working with 
construction of toilet promotion villages. Still, so I couldn't able to solve the problem. But nowadays, because of the Swachh Bharat Mission program, the government could able to reach most of the villages, households, rural households, and the, even the cities, 100% sanitation coverage. We could able to contribute also in supplementing the government's effort in Swachh Bharat Mission program. One of the commissioners, where well, he worked in 1989 in Rasipuram municipality in Tamil Nadu, his name is Paul Sami. Dr. Paul Sami is the commissioner. There I have constructed 5,500 toilets, Rasipuram municipality and Sirchangod municipality. After 25 years, he came uh, as a promoter level, commissioner of Trichara City Corporation. That was municipality in 1989, then commissioner of Trichara Municipal Corporation. Then I told, hello sir, how are you sir? Damoran, what, what kind of work you are doing? I am constructing toilets, sir. Oh, still, more than 25 years. When he was working in that village, uh, in that uh, municipal corporation in 1918, and he, uh, he, he, he was, he was blessed with a daughter, one-year-old daughter. After he joined as a commissioner of, commissioner of Trichapalli City Corporation, her daughter uh, got ma married. I also attended the marriage function after 25 years. After 25 years, constructing toilets. Oh, that, that kind of uh, generation uh, I have seen in my life. So, thank you so much for all your contributions in the two days deliberations. Um, uh, at last, government find out me to give the Badma Sri Award to me. After 35 years of dedication, in the Badma Sri Award page, they mentioned that a man who has dedicated his lifetime for promoting sanitation in the rural and urban slums in South India. They mentioned like that. Who has dedicated his life. I am going to get the, my Badma Sri Award coming Monday on 28th March. This will be given by the President of India at the Rashtrapati Bhavan. Along with Sundar Pichai and also Satya Nadala. So, thank you so much. You all made me a great man in the sanitation field. People used to call me toilet man. So many articles wrote about me. If you search toilet men, you can find Damodaran. Now people are calling me pad free man. I am not a pad man. There is a difference between pad man and pad free man. There should not be any pads thrown on the streets as garbage. So, like in the session, after lunch, people are sewing eco friendly pads, soluble in water or reusable, washable and reusable, or compostable, eco-friendly products. I am going to work for next 10 years with eco-friendly products, menstrual hygiene management, nutrition. Nutrition is another important part where stunted growth is a major cause of children studying in the schools. They couldn't be able to get height according to the age or weight according to their height. That's a major problem in India. Nutrition, malnutrition is a major problem in India. Like that, the women are facing anemic, overbleeding, or irregular periods are all contributing, contributing to uh, anemic women because of they are not having nutritious food. That's a major problem. So my next 10 years of work will be on menstrual age management with all of you. Thank you so much. Wonderful. Great.